I really interrupted, didn't I? I am such an idiot. Come on. No, it's okay. Come on. <clears throat> you said you had a problem. Oh, actually, I don't have a problem. It's a, it's a friend of mine. She came to me, confided mm -hmm. in me, and I was <laughs> way out of my league. So that's why I thought of you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not exactly famous for good advice. Oh, to me you are. I mean, the way you handled the rape trial and hanging in there. I mean, if anybody can help me, help my friend, <laughs> it's you. Your friend wasn't raped, was she, Emily? Oh, no, nothing that horrible. She just, I mean, not that you had, but don't, no, no, it's okay. I want you to sit down. <clears throat> okay, go on. Well, I, I just want to know what you would do if you had a professor who gave you the idea that he would give you a good grade if you, you know, went to bed with them. Is that what happened? Well, not in so many words, but yeah, pretty much. Well, <clears throat> I know exactly what I'd tell your friend. Is this professor from the MPU? I really don't. Um... All right, okay, it doesn't matter. Wherever he is, whoever she is, she has to go directly to the dean of students. I mean, there's procedures for dealing with this kind of abuse. Well, he didn't abuse anybody. He, he just sort of, you know, made promises and, uh, well, told her she needed to go the distance, stuff like that. And just... Yeah, but he's using his position to take advantage, sexual advantage, right? So, uh, if your friend has any self-respect, if she wants to protect other people from it happening to them, even you, she's got to come forward right away. What if nobody believes me? Look what happened to Marty Saybrook when she was raped. She brought charges and then she was totally trashed by everyone on campus. But Miss Saybrook prevailed. She proved her charges. Eventually, but, but, but look what it cost. And, and, and just because it was okay with Marty, I mean, it was me. I just, look, Claudia, I don't want you to think that I'm not the strong and, and independent person that you are looking for, it, it just, it, well, I'm not even really sure that the general carpenter did anything wrong. I mean, maybe, maybe he was just trying to be nice. Keep the safe. Dorian, what are you doing in the dormitory? What is this bad get up? Were you supposed to be undercover? Ooh, wait a minute, I know what you're doing here. Youth college, you co ed. Please, your reputation is safe with me. Well, I don't think I need you to protect my reputation, do I? I wouldn't be too sure about that. Ever since the Marty Saybrook rape incident, the university's been very sensitive about publicity. Oh, wouldn't it be awful? If the Board of Trustees of the University demanded your resignation before you even became president? I'm going to warn you once, Dorian. You print one word of that libel and I'll sue you and that scandal sheet of yours for everything you have. Is that clear? Unfortunately, in a case like this, once you need a lawyer, it's already too late for one. Yes, I learned that firsthand. When you wrote all those terrible things about me in your biography of Victor Lord. What is the general? Must be an old war wound. If you're looking um, for your old pal or old lover or whatever you are, look for a new friend. Maybe she's converting him. I'm in here, no worries. But these yours? Yeah. Right. Now these are Emma Haynes' book. <laughs> no, she was, and she dropped these and she ran out of here. Some problem. Can you didn't show your friend of hers, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, not that close, but we developed an understanding. You know what she's so uptight about? Maybe. 
Yeah. You keep it quiet? Yeah. Emily came to me for advice. One of her professors has been harassing her. You mean not coming on to her? I told her not to put up with it. Oh, good for you. Yeah, but it's still, it's got to be pretty tough on her. And she's totally freaking out about going public. And I told her that she had to stand up. She, she couldn't let herself become a victim, you know? And whether it's rape or verbal abuse or whatever, you got to stand up and fight. Oh, and uh, Kevin, um, how, how's Marty doing? I mean, is anyone giving her a hard time at school because of what we did to her? But don't worry about Marty, all right? She's not the party girl anymore. In fact, a lot of people think of her as a regular hero. I did it. Wait, wait, what do you mean? You said I didn't. You did what you t I told you. I went public. About the sexual harassment. Oh. So you, you were sure that you were in the right? Well, that's good for you. No. <laughs> the thing is, I went and I told the dean. And now the school has told the teacher about the charges, and he says he's got to fight. He says, trying to prove that I'm a liar. Don't worry. Look, he's just saying that to scare you. Yes. Come forward, press charges, and it, it's Sam Carpenter. It's just some physics. No, that's the guy. The one who's been abusing his power. That's what she said. I, I, I just can't believe this is true. I, what do you mean? It is true. Marty, I told you all of the things that she's done to me. Because oh. <laughs> he's this famous guy. He's got all these, like, really big huge friends. No, but I, I know Sam Carpenter. So? Something, you know, like I was confused about Kevin, remember? Maybe you just overreacted. You told me to do this. That's what you said. And everybody told me to come forward and to do the right thing. And that's what I did. Yeah, me and my big mouth. I'm afraid I've done something really awful. 